How's it going guys? I am Matthias and today we're going to be doing a little review of the Case Co. Uh, iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus case. And you guys, I'm going to be giving away this guy. So stay tuned to the very end to find out how to win this lovely awesome little case that we're about to review here. This is only for people with an iPhone 6. So you kind of have to have an iPhone 6 or else it won't work on your phone because that's the one I'm giving away. Uh, so this case, as you can see, has um, a nice like faux leather outside and like this mirror finish up top right here. So let's let's open this up and uh, see what's unique about this case here. So immediately it feels like leather. It feels like pretty good leather. But I know, I'm pretty sure it's faux leather and I think it's like suede on the inside. It's like a really nice soft, soft suede on the inside. Um, one of the things I really like about this case immediately is the fact that it has this little window here. And a lot of you might not know, but this allows you to see like more information on your home screen but still protect your home screen. Um, the one, one of the cool things about this too is that a lot of cases that fold over um, and that are like wallet cases and stuff like that, you have to like open up your phone awkwardly to like call people and stuff like that, but this right here has a little ear slot so you can actually talk to people on your phone like this so you don't have to have it open and your face touching the screen so one of the things i've noticed with this iphone and iphone 6 plus uh iphone 6 and iphone 6 plus is that the proximity sensors don't work as well as they used to i don't know if amanda if you noticed that but half the time when i'm on the phone the screen will be on and i'll be like pressing buttons with my cheek and maybe it's because of the large size it's like maybe the way i'm holding it it doesn't it's not it doesn't work the same way but uh, having this having this completely covered when I'm talking might might uh, be beneficial. The other thing is that it stores, I believe, one or two cards in here, like right in right in there, which is super nice because it can store your ID and maybe some notes in here and stuff like that, or even more cards or money. Like, yeah, good good cash. point, money and cash. Because one of the things I'm noticing recently, and one of the things I love about the iPhone is that it has Apple Pay. And if you guys have ever used Apple Pay, it's like flawless. It works well. I hope whoever's making Apple Pay takes over Apple Maps because they need to do a lot of work. But, <laughs> so the great things is like when you put your iPhone down inside the case and you have a card and you have, or excuse me, you have your ID and you have cash in here, this is all you need right here to go out. You know what I mean? Like I can go like on a walk down, jog down to the place and all I need is my phone to like pay for stuff or have ID and things like that. So this is one of the things. because. As much as I'm a man and like men carry wallets, I don't like carrying my wallet around. It's just another thing that I gotta carry around that's like not really useful. Like we have all of this tech, how come we can't make it useful for us? And this is one of the things I like about this and this is a really nice high quality case. You can kind of see inside there, you can kind of see what's going on or like who's calling you and stuff like that. This case inside here is going to protect your phone really, really well. It's a really solid, thick, thick plastic. Um, it's actually kind of even hard to get the phone out. It's doable. Uh, oh, it's doable, and you probably want to go from down below. But uh, it's that's that's in there pretty solid. So that's going to protect your phone really, really well. This is this is nice and soft, and everything's soft in here, so it's not going to like harm your screen. Oh yeah, and there's a, there's a little camera cutout right there, so you can still take pictures and stuff like that. And it's wide enough, so it's not going to interfere with your camera or or flash, which is great. Um, and that one of the reasons why you can talk with it shut is because the microphones down here they're down here for talking if you guys want to win the case for the iphone 6 all you got to do is leave a comment down below you can say whatever just leave a comment down below and i will randomly pick a winner try to make sure that you at least own an iphone 6 or know someone that owns an iphone 6 that you can give this to as like a gift or something like that uh don't enter if you don't have an iphone 6 because that kind of is not really cool to the people that do have an iphone 6 <laughs> i don't know but uh, yeah, if you want to check out more about Case Co. and this specific case, links are going to be down in the description below. I like it a lot. This is a case that I'm going to be using to go on trips and stuff like that or go out on walks with Amanda because Amanda and I walk really, really far. We walk like a couple miles at a time. So if you want to check out caseco.ca, you can actually get this um, same exact case in like a huge variety of colors here. I mean, they've got like every single color here. Um, I believe in iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, it's a $40 case, but here's the thing. It feels like a $40 case. You know what I mean, Amanda? It like feels sturdy and like it's gonna last. Cause but I've it's had, worth the money. like it's worth it, you know what I mean? Cause a lot of times like you go in Best Buy and you'll like go and look at a case and it'll be like $29 
and it's just literally just plastic. And you're like, what? This is not worth it. But this has like, I don't know, it's got tons of different materials, sturdy, soft. It's very soft, it's very yeah, soft but, it, but it's got this thing too. And that's like actually a really good mirror. It's like a pretty flawless mirror. Say hi, Amanda. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> but uh, I don't know, it's good materials. I would definitely recommend this. Anyways guys, go check it out down in the description below. Put your comments down there and I will see you next time. High five. Um, I think it's kind of weird when people say they're vegetarian, but then they'll still eat fake processed food. Like this. Like I'm eating vegetarian yeah, right now. Like this is <laughs> technically, well, I don't know, aren't they fried, are they fried in animal fat or no, is it vegetable oil? It's vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. <laughs> so this is technically vegetarian. So I guess the misnomer here is that people think being vegetarian